Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully the quality of the picture may have improved a little bit. We've recently bought a new camera and this is the first video I'm doing using my new camera. It's the Canon G7X Mark II which is the dream camera and I'm super super happy that I've managed to afford to buy one but Jim's chipped in as well and we've both basically just decided to just improve our quality of our videos. We do love this, we're continuing to do it. I wanted this when I first started vlogging which was a couple of years ago now and yeah it just wasn't a good idea to get straight away but now I decided I'm carrying on doing it so definitely thought it was time to invest. You may have seen it in my last vlog that I broke, well we broke our last camera whilst we were out on a day trip in Anglesey. I think it got sand in it, something happened and yeah it no longer works very well. So <laughs> we've got a hat to get a new one. I've decided to do a little shopping haul video. It's kind of cleaning products, home products from B&M and Home Bargains. I just did a little shop there basically and thought I'd show you what I got so I hope you enjoy. First thing I'm going to show you is something that I picked up called Fabulosa. It is a little bit, I presume, like a Sephora product. I've just seen them around recently. They've just suddenly appeared with a load of different scents. So this is the Wild Rhubarb one. I just kind of had a little smell of some of them on the shelf. And this one, oh, that smells really nice. That smells like a, a Copperberg, fruity Copperberg cider or something. Mmm, that smells delicious. Okay, so that's the Rhubarb one. And it's just basically concentrated disinfectant. So... As I say, it's a little bit like Sephora, I think. And I love using these to clean because they just leave that beautiful scent and it's quite a strong scent and they just leave it around your house once you've cleaned things with it. I like to put it down my plug holes with a little bit of soda crystals once I've finished cleaning, just to kind of leave the home fresh smelling. But you can do all sorts with it. I might look up some different things that are like really useful to do with this stuff because I'm sure there's so many different things you can do. Another cleaning product I decided to invest in was this stuff called the pink stuff. Now this is, it's called the Miracle Cleaning Paste and it's basically a cleaning paste by a company called Star Drops. It says it's tough on stains. I have seen so many people talk about this product and the whole line. I think they've got some cream cleaner, I think they've got a spray cleaner that's just come out as well. I've never used paste cleaner before so I don't really know what to expect from this or how on earth to use it but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I haven't even opened this yet to have a look but oh let's have a little peek. Oh don't know why I immediately smell things. It hasn't really got a very strong smell but that's the paste that's what it looks like and yeah I might have to, again, I might have to look up some different things that I can do with that and some tips on how to use it for cleaning, but I think I hopefully will find some cool things to do with that to clean my home. <laughs> do let me know if you've ever used it and what, what you do with it, because I don't know. Talking about ciders a moment ago and the smell of ciders, I bought this for Jim. They, he used to get the four pack, it's basically Copperberg but it's a fruit lager. He doesn't really like lager or beers, but really, really likes Copperbergs but he particularly likes the kind of mix of lager and fruitiness of these ones. I've tried them, I still, I don't really like them because they just, I can taste that lageriness and I don't like it at all. B&M used to do a pack of four of these, but now they're selling them individually, which is nice if you want to give one a try. So I got Jim a couple of those today and I also thought I'd try this. So this is Brothers Cider, a strawberry and cream flavour, so I just thought I'd see what that's like really. I don't know. Another thing I picked up was just a very little handy bottle and this is just an empty little squirty bottle. It was about 59p from Home Bargains and it's just very useful to put different kind of things in. I like to sometimes mix a little bit of fabric conditioner and water to kind of use to freshen around the home. It's a bit like a a fabric spray basically or an air freshener and it's just kind of your own mix of one so that's handy for that and I don't know I always just seem to need a spray bottle for something or other. Another thing that I've already actually used I've taken one of these out is these blue five in one insistent smelly things and these just go in the top of your system in your toilet you probably know what these are but they just basically create a little bit of nice smell and cleanliness, clean your toilet and give you that kind of blue water in the toilet bowl which I just really really like. I just like the look of those in your toilet because it looks clean and fresh and keeps it clean 
that's the rain by the way i don't know whether you can hear that sorry if you can hear the rain but it's just started checking it down and it's actually really really nice because it's been about 20 degrees today and just ah, i was walking around in it earlier and it just started spitting on me and that whole freshness in the air that kind of like rainy sunny day it was beautiful it smelled really nice anyway hopefully this will smell really nice and keep my toilet fresh another thing i've decided to buy this is the second time i've bought this as well this is oven bright a cleaning kit that's for your oven basically i picked one up to specifically clean my oven the other week but because we had a barbecue recently and we'd left them for a few weeks without cleaning so the dirt had kind of just like ingrained itself onto it and was very difficult to clean off so i soaked it in one of these bags and it, you just basically get the cleaning solution a big bag and you pour the cleaning solution into it and you just leave it soak for hours or overnight and then when you take it out it's so easy to wipe the dirt off um, it comes with a little pair of gloves as well just to keep your hands nice and safe because it is a strong strong cleaning agent i just found it amazing it was about 1.99 i think from well you can get them from b&m or home bargains but it's just brilliant so i'm going to use this one on my actual oven stuff because i use the other one on my barbecue things i thought i'd treat myself to a little exfoliating foot peel this one is tea tree and peppermint um i've used one of these before in the past a few weeks ago never really bothered i just thought what's wrong with just putting cream on your feet won't that do the job but i actually really really liked it they come that they have like a it's like a little plastic sock thing you put on and you just kind of like seal the top of it and leave them on your feet for a few hours or i think the last ones i used was just like 20 minutes but this one specifically says 90 minutes um so it's quite a long treatment one this and i did find that the last one of these kind of things i used did make my feet feel really soft so i thought i'd give this a go this one though specifically says dead skin will begin to peel off after seven days to reveal soft smooth and healthier looking feet so that's interesting it does something quite dramatic to your feet so we'll see how that goes this is what i use to remove my makeup every single day and this is just the garnier skin active and it's just the micellar micellar i don't really know how to say it cleansing water and i just use this on a little cotton pad and it removes my makeup quite well i did have a big bottle of this stuff that I paid about 4 99 for and it lasted ages but I've just finished it so I thought I'd just pick up a little one because it does take up quite a lot of room in my bathroom this big massive one so I thought no harm in just buying the little ones as I go really and that was 99p so that should last a good while anyway I picked up some cleaning cloths they're just white cleaning cloths a little tip that I read um for cleaning carpets and cleaning rugs was to get some fabric conditioner and mix it with water a bit like the spray thing that i make but then use a white cloth to kind of clean your carpets with the white cloth is specifically so that no colors run while you're doing it and i came to do it the other day and realized i didn't have any white cloth so i thought this would be helpful to clean my rugs with i picked up this and this is just for your bath so this is the belle at home and it's a cushioned mat to go in your bath and it's gray so you know anything grey I'm a bit of a sucker for and I've never really had one of these before I just thought it might feel nice on the bottom of my feet when I'm in the shower <laughs> this is a bit of a lifesaver just to save you washing clothes every single day if you've only worn a t-shirt for a few hours or something and you don't want to put it in the wash obviously I'm a clean person who does clean my clothes often but sometimes you just get want to get a little bit more use out of something so this is the Dattle instantly refreshes clothes spray and wear spray in pink water lily and that is what it looks like and this i haven't actually tried this particular one i tried another product which was really really similar i think it's called day two day two or day three it's basically the same kind of idea i have a feeling that seeing that this one's just come out or i've only just spotted this one that a lot of other companies are going to start making similar kind of products to this so it might just be a trend that's appearing now unless i haven't just noticed it and basically the next day if you want to wear your top again just give this a little bit of a spray and it also has some sort of agent in it that will take the creases out of your clothes so if you hang it up spray this it'll kind of help the creases come out as well so it's just a really handy product to get a bit more use out of your clothes in between washes one last thing that i picked up that i thought i'd put up in my little office space is this shelf and it was only 2.99 
from B&M and it's just basically a little picture shelf. Now they call them picture shelves, I don't really know what I'm going to put on it. I'm a little bit of a, like I like DIY. I can fit flooring, I can do all sorts, but I'm a bit useless at hanging up pictures and drilling anything to the wall. So with this being quite light, I thought I'd just use no more nails. It's my classic thing to do, just use no more nails for everything and stick this to the wall because I probably won't put too many heavy things on it anyway. Although the no more nails stuff, apparently, well, it is really, really strong. I've used it on quite a few things. And yeah, it should glue it to the wall okay. And it just, um, I might just put a bit of jewellery on it and things like that, maybe a candle. Just thought it would be quite pretty. That is everything that I've got to show you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video and let me know of any kind of cool products you've bought from B&M and Home Bargains that help with cleaning and things because I'm a bit of a sucker for cleaning products and anything for the home. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!